I'm Sarah Hashimaris for the Los Angeles Times. Let's take a look at some of this afternoon's trending headlines being covered by the Times Newsroom. North Korean state media warned foreigners in South Korea to evacuate, saying Pyongyang does not want to harm foreigners in case of a war. The Times reports that analysts, however, aren't buying the latest threat, saying war is unlikely. Also on the global front, a magnitude 6.3 earthquake struck southern Iran on Tuesday, killing at least 31 people. There are no immediate reports of damage at a nearby nuclear plant. JCPenney Chief Executive Ron Johnson's 17-month tenure is over, ending an unorthodox high-end retail strategy that failed to mesh with the chain's budget-conscious shoppers. The numbers aren't good. The Times reports that company revenue dipped 25 percent in a single quarter, while 19,000 workers lost their jobs. However, JCPenney stock did get a nearly 13 percent boost in after-hours trading following the announcement. Annette Funicello is being remembered as America's most beloved masketeer. Funicello, who was famously known for her 1960s Fun in the Sun films, including Beach Blanket Bingo with actor Frankie Avalon, died at 70 as a result of complications from multiple sclerosis. In England, former Labour Party Prime Minister Tony Blair is criticizing people who are celebrating the death of Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher, Britain's first and only female prime minister, remains a controversial figure, partially as a result of her run-ins with trade unions and privatization of state-run industries during her 11-year tenure. The 87-year-old Iron Lady died Monday after suffering a stroke. An 18-year-old Costa Mesa hiker who was dramatically rescued after four days of being lost in the South Orange County Hills recalls hallucinating and fending off animals, saying she thought she was just dreaming. Kendall Jack and her friend Nicholas Sendoya began a hike on Easter Sunday in the Cleveland National Forest. Sendoya was found a day before Jack, who suffered an arm injury along with severe dehydration. Sendoya was released from the hospital over the weekend. For more on these stories and other headlines, be sure to visit LATimes.com. I'll see you next time.